Artificial intelligence is continuing to impact society, particularly in healthcare. AI doctors are being tested in China. Tsinghao University's Institute for AI Industry Research, AIR, developed technology which includes 42 AI doctors covering 21 departments in what has been named Agent Hospital. As part of the AI hospital, the doctors, nurses, and patients are driven by large language model powered intelligent agents, which can generate autonomous communication. This model can simulate a closed loop process that encompasses pre-hospital, in-hospital, post-hospital stages, as well as includes illness onset, triaging, registration, consultation, examination, diagnosis, prescription, rehabilitation, and follow-up. They have it all covered at the agent hospital. Over 10,000 virtual patients were diagnosed within a few days, a feat that would take a human doctor two years based on the calculation that a human doctor treats about 100 patients a week, according to researchers. So Johannes, do you feel, 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 do you feel that there is a risk for AI doctors to hallucinate when diagnosing illness or recommending treatment? Well, Tiffany, the idea of AI doctors or an uh, AI hospital is incredibly exciting, but yes, there is a real risk they'll hallucinate when diagnosing or recommending treatment. In China's new agent hospital, 42 AI doctors handled over 10,000 virtual patients in days, which demonstrates the power of LLM-driven diagnostics. But that same autonomy can lead to confidently stated errors. Clinical studies have shown that hallucinations are not rare. In scenarios with incomplete or ambiguous data, think rare diseases or scanned patient histories, AI misdiagnosis occur in 5 to 10% of the cases. And the same uncertainty can yield incorrect treatment plans. Research on patient portal responses found that about 6% of AI-generated messages contained hallucinations, with 7% posing severe safety risks. And alarmingly, most physicians don't catch these mistakes before sending them to patients. More recent work has begun to map out medical hallucinations specifically uh, categorizing their causes, impacts, and migration techniques. Methods like chain of thought prompting and search of uh, augmented uh, generation can reduce error rates, but they don't eliminate them entirely. Likewise, reference validation scores help flag dubious outputs, but they require integration into clinical workflows and actual checks. 